what's good YouTube? Um, I'm going to do a video um, as you've seen titled is probably my five tips to getting sponsored. Um, I've had quite a few questions come through about how do, how do I get some of my sponsors. Um, I just wanted to say first of all don't proclaim to be any kind of expert. I mean I'm very new to the industry and obviously I've, I've picked up some sponsors as I've been going along the way but I'm um, getting a lot of questions of how do you put yourself out to get sponsored and stuff so I thought I'd do a breakdown of my five top tips to get sponsored so that'll be coming up. Okay so number one is um, be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. If you're doing in the public art you're going to get caught out and you're also going to, if you're representing a company you've got to believe in the company so if you not being yourself and being fake, people aren't are going to see that. They're going to suss it out because you're going to be in a public eye if you're if you're with a company because you're going to have to be representing them. So number one is be yourself. Okay. So number two is something quite important, which is what can you offer as an athlete to the company? There is hundreds of thousands of people within the UK, within the um, you know America and many other places it comes to the world that people are doing the same thing, you know, people of fitness. It, this industry isn't new, it's not something that only a few minority are doing at the moment, it's a big industry, so what can you offer? Um, so if you're going to look to get sponsored, you need to look at yourself and think, well, what have I got to offer? What are my qualities and what can I give back to this company in return for them sponsoring me? So for me, that's one of the top ones is if you're going to look to get in touch with a company is what can you offer them don't just go straight in and say can you sponsor me because they're just going to turn around and say no so what can you offer is my number two number three is um, basically you have to understand that when you get a sponsorship you're essentially selling for them um, so you are going to be one of their kind of not a minion because I don't like that word but you're going to be you know, an ambassador of the company, so you're going to have to represent it well, you're going to have to, you know, show people the products and you're going to have to try and get people to buy the products, but there's two ends to this kind of story in that the sense that you're going to have to believe in the product, so make sure you believe in the sponsorship that you're going for, because if ultimately you want to do well with the sponsorship, you're going to have to, um, you know, get people to buy the stuff. Um, and if you don't believe in the stuff yourself and you don't use it your, the stuff yourself, then how can you ultimately say to someone, will buy this, because um, they're not going to believe you. So just make sure you're aware that you're going to have to, you know, represent this company so you're essentially selling stuff for the company. So that's just one to be aware of. Okay, so number four is choose something that represents you well. Um, and this for me is a big point. If you're trying to you know, get people to use the product and you want people to like the product, you've got to like the product yourself. Um, so that's a major, major point for me. It's got to be a company that you believe in because otherwise you're not going to work hard. All the sponsors that I am currently working with, I all believe in their products. I love the products. I use the products, um, which I think the, the last point there is probably the most um, kind of one that needs to be active is that you use the product because how can you tell someone to go and buy this product or go and use this product when you don't actually use it yourself so choose a company that you know isn't going to mess you around it's going to represent you well as well as you rep representing them well because at the end of the day it works both sides um, so that's tip number four and tip number five and I think this is one that people don't do a lot of Again, there are hundreds and thousands of people doing the same thing in this industry. Um, but what people seem to not understand is that there's only, you know, hundred, a few hundred companies within this industry. So what you've got to do is you've got to put yourself out there. You cannot just expect companies to find you um, unless you're in the public eye, you know, unless you're doing like competitions and stuff, unless you're, you know, in magazines or you're doing blogs and you people are able to contact you people aren't just going to come across you you've got to put yourself out there so you need to get in touch with companies and you need to going back to um, one of the other tips is that you need to get in touch with them and you need to you know tell them what you can offer the company it's a sense um, they're not just going to come and find you you know you've everyone that I've obtained of been in contact with people, I've put myself out there, I said look this is what I'm about, this is what I can offer to you, are you interested? And you know, luckily enough I've picked up quite a few um, at the moment, so that's that's um, one of the main points that people just don't seem to understand is that you have to go out there and look for it, people aren't going to come and look for you, um, so you, 
that's probably the most important tip for me is you have to put yourself out there you have to be um, confident and you have to also sh you know show people what you're about and you're not going to do that about putting yourself out there so um, yeah that's my five um, top tips for me um, other people might say different things but they're the five for me that I think people should focus on um, yeah and just you know sponsorships they are looking for people they are looking for unique individuals and people who are passionate about the industry and who are going to work hard for them so they are about um, you just got to keep working your ass off really and push yourself so hope that helps people and I wish you all good luck as well so um, yeah I hope that's been of some help to people um, I've tried to wrap up a few tips as I said I'm no expert I don't claim to be an expert but that's just how I've gone about doing things um, so that is what I would say to you guys so thanks for watching